Okay, so I've logged on to Open Pages now. This is my home page with dashboard capability. What we've put in the bottom right hand corner is the ability to access the Watson Assistant. This is a chatbot style of system where you can ask it questions in English and it will be able to respond accordingly. So something as simple as saying hello, do you know any funny stories, ask the question and it will come back with an answer. In this case it's come back with one, so obviously it doesn't know any funny stories, but I think you get the concept that it's able to read, uh, to understand the text and, and respond accordingly. So in this case here I'm actually after some uh, help. So you can just simply ask for help. And it's come back and it will ask for, do you need help in creating something or finding something? Because quite often what you need to do in a GRC context is either find some data or create some data. So in this case, I'm going to say finding. Watson, it's had a look at your capability and says, from here, there's three areas of data that you can actually access, your issues, your risks, and your incidents. So I want to access incidents, because in this case, in this use case, what I need to do is create an incident, and, um, or at least I need to find if uh, this incident already exists or not, and therefore go and create it. So it's saying I can view my incidents from here, so I click there, and it'll take me right to all the incidents I have in the system. And it's brought back three incidents. One, a payment fraud, system outage, and a duplicate payment. Now, those are not the incidents I need. So I actually need to create one. So I can ask the system, you know, I need to create an incident. I'm going to say, did you mean to create an incident? says you can create an incident from here. I select that and it will take me to the place in the system where I can create an incident. Here I'm at the add incident page. So within open pages this is all very easy. On the right hand side you're given some user guidance about which of the fields you need to collect. So in this case Ask me, I click on the description, it takes me straight there. I complete that with the owner, I'll assign it to myself. To put in a date, just put in today's date, and then which part of the organization this belongs to. Put that in my brokerage area. Okay. So the other area where we started uh, to put in the, the AI capability is around data categorization. So what you need, to, what generally a user will have to do is type in what hap uh, the description of the event, what happened, and then categorize that data by various taxonomies. For example, you'd need to know whilst the event happened, what was the key cause, and you'll be generally presented with a drop-down for people, process, system, and then underneath that, the different types of causes. Exactly the same for the risk category, maybe a type of fraud, fraud, and then, say, misappropriation of assets. And that can be quite tricky for users if they're not very familiar with the solution. So what we've done is we've trained Watson to read the description and then understand the taxonomies and do a mapping for you. So in this case, it suggested that this risk example is unlicensed activity. And I can just map that, and you'll see that it maps that for me. And the same on the course. So again, it reads the description. There's a mapping and says insufficient customer reception and map that to, to the event. So the, the, the cognitive, the Watson capability is able to, to read the free form text and perform the mappings. So I can save that and then when I go into my reporting engine I can, as I'm drilling down I can see that here I have the data accurately accurately mapped because it's been done through a cognitive engine and I get that um, correct data governance 
whether it be here in this case by risk category or in this case here by the cause category. I'll be able to match up how much money I've lost by those those categories over the time. So it's giving a lot more accurate data for my reporting purposes. Okay. So now I've created this incident, what I might need to do is understand what do I have to do next. One of the things that need to happen, you may need to create an issue. So do I need to create an issue? It says an issue is a control weakness that highlights a deficiency in a gap, mitigating the risk. Issues need to be created if you've had an incident. Okay, so it says you can create an issue from here or see your existing issues from here. Further documentation will be found here. So again, it's understood my question and it says, yep, based on that, what I need to do because I've had uh, an incident um, that there has been a control failure, I need to then go and create an incident. Okay. So the system's brought me directly to the new issue page where it's very easy for me now to add the issue. I can just say control thing okay. and type the details controls. So I'm going to Again, it's very easy here to know which fields I need to complete. Issue type, issue owner, again, I'll sign it to, to myself. When it's due, say by next month. And again, which business entity does this need to be associated with? And again, I'll put this back into my workers area. This is the third way in which we're using the Watson capability. So as we know, we've just had an incident where we've just had a failure, and we need to raise an issue to try and remediate that. The question we need to ask ourselves and then is, what controls failed in that process and what would need remediated? So again, from the um, cognitive capability, Watson has a suggestion based on the description of what we've typed in, Which, which controls should be mapped. And we again select the what's and suggestions. It goes off to the right hand side and says we believe this is our, this is the control which is most likely failed and this is the one that needs remediating. And I can click and save that. 